Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone. Dr. Dials. And uh, we're going to do a Jimmy product. Today, we're going to do a motionette that I've done before on another show. And I actually, it was a good show, too, I must admit, from my old channel. And uh, I lost, I actually lost this video. I mean, I cannot find it on any of my storage units anywhere to repost it in any way okay so we're going to we're going to demonstrate today what i've already demonstrated before on youtube the spirit ball i'm uh showing this specifically right now because on the jimmy animatronics facebook page there, there was one posted uh, the other day and there was a little talk of it the other day and so i decided to go ahead and do it right now so this spirit ball i bought originally brand new at uh, I believe it was Walgreens you can see the price right here $19.99 this is a full-size one okay this is the Frankenstein one okay and I don't even believe I paid $19.99 for it because I think I bought it after Halloween on sale so I probably paid more like $15 for it now you can get these for you can, you'll pay a lot more for these used on uh, eBay right now uh, I I got the Frankenstein one. I don't think I had to, but I ended up getting it, and I probably, I, I like the looks of it, but I, oh, it's annoying. It's so annoying. Uh, we'll plug it in and, and show everyone what we're doing here, but, but that, that's the, you know, the artwork on here, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, a spirit ball. I mean, let's face it, I, I don't really, you know, I don't know why they named it spirit ball. I don't know what they should have named it, but, uh, it's not actually a spirit, it's a head. I guess you couldn't name it head ball. Wouldn't be wouldn't be so uh, mystical then, would it? Okay, what, what do I want to say about this? Grab my notes here. Um, uh, first of all, <coughs> I would rather have a Zoltan, uh, a Jimmy product that's, you know, the, the fortune teller in the box. Uh, you Jimmy people know exactly what I'm talking about with the little curtains and stuff. Them, them prices on that have skyrocketed when you do find them on eBay. And they do appear periodically, but uh, they're way too expensive, and I will not pay that price for them. But that's, I would like to ha get my hands on one of the Zoltans. But uh, you notice on the Zoltans, too, that the head in the Zoltan looks uh, amazingly... Uh, similar to the one that you will find in one of the spirit ball ones because uh, they have like a well, let's see what all characters did I see okay I have the Frankenstein they have the witch the like the gypsy fortune teller girl looking in there and then they have the fortune telling guy with the like the swami headpiece on then they have the guy that just looks like the head of the fortune teller guy but it looks to me it reminds me of more of a fester off of adam's family but it's all got that same look and then i also seen a skeleton a, a skull head skeleton head whatever you want to say them are the ones i've seen i don't believe there's other ones but i know the people on the jimmy animatronic facebook page would would be able to tell me whether there are and i'm sure they will <laughs> okay uh <clears throat> but no that's okay i'm not <coughs> i'm not uh saying don't do that but just you know check out uh what they have to say on they they know more about this stuff than i do uh i love uh you know i love uh, fortune telling machines anyway the full size ones with the zoltar you know the kind you would see like in uh big tom hanks big the one that causes all the problems as you might say i i like i like those uh we have one down to our mall and i've got the fortune teller slips that I've done that because I, I love watching him work so I I've done that more than uh, a couple of times just to see him move around and <clears throat> talk a little bit but uh, <clears throat> cost a buck though you know what I'm saying cost a buck and I don't know if the fortune's real or not I don't know if it really comes true or not so you know I'm not sure but I love fortune telling machines and I hopefully one day I hope I have one yeah you know I, I, you never know what the future holds, right? <laughs> Unless you have a fortune telling machine, right? Okay, let's uh, get over to the spirit ball. Let's uh, get this set up here, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you how annoyingly it sounds and works for those of you who haven't seen this by now. I mean, I know all the Jimmy people on Facebook 
on the uh, Facebook page. I mean, this is old hat to them, but uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you anyway. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's switch over. Okay, here we are. We're at the ball now. The ball is out. I put the stand together, and it's plugged in. It's not running on batteries which I do not like anything that runs on batteries, but uh, so many of these motion shots do. And okay, as you can see, I've had to adjust my lighting to keep the glare off of this ball because it was just, everything was glaring really bad. So it looks a little darker right now, that's why. And um, I do have a, a two complaints about this. There's too much frost on this ball, too much, okay? It, it, the, the brain on this shows on, on Frankenstein, and it kind of looks cool, but there's so much frost even on the top that you can't see it very well. So that kind of, they, they overdid it. I, I know it probably varies from ball to ball, but uh, they got too much on this one, okay? Because it's a good head and it looks good. It looks good from what you can see from all the angles, top and side and, and, and back, what you can see. And it's got too much frost in it. There, there's no need for that much, okay? It, it looks cool. Don't cover it up with paint in the ball. I almost want to go in there and take some of the paint off so I can see the head, okay? My other complaint is the fact that it is so loud and annoying. And uh, when you go to shut it off, it runs its course and doesn't shut off instantly. It's very loud and just, you, you wouldn't want to let it run because it's just too loud and annoying. It's like, it's another one of those typical motion net flaws where the sound effect is just so annoying you don't want to let it run. Okay, let's turn it on and if you can see underneath my sunglasses, I am squinting from the sound, okay? Let's turn this thing on if I can see. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I didn't shut it off, I unplugged it. <laughs> that shuts it off. See, several sayings, good lighting, good, everything looks good. Uh, the lights and the movement, the mouth, everything works, you know. <laughs> that and alone, that alone it, on an older uh, uh, motionette is something in itself, don't you think? But it's got a good look, it's just so annoying, you know. You just, it's like, shut that off. You, 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 I wish it had one of the switches where you didn't hear the sound and it only moved and lit up because that I wouldn't mind because it, it looks cool moving around and the lights are nice and the brain lights up and the eyes light up it looks kind of cool but with the with that annoying uh, 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 and it's so loud and you can't adjust it and uh, so I, I don't that's the reason I don't like this one as well okay I don't like that over over the top loud yeah, it's not, it's not something you want to keep on. So I, I don't like that part. Okay, and and the frost, that and the frost. Okay, too much frost on this ball. Yeah, I should get in there and <laughs> remove the frost. I guess you could say. But uh, there we have it. I got this awful cheap. You can't get these brand new for. Uh, I think I paid fifteen because I think it was on sale. I don't think I even paid the twenty. Now that I think back on it, it's been several years ago. But yeah, I think I got it after Halloween, and I don't even think I paid the $19.99 for it. And you can't touch these with a 10-foot pole for 15 bucks on on uh, eBay, which, you know, ones that work anyway. <coughs> so, there you have for the Jimmy Spirit Ball with Frankenstein in it. I don't know. I, I like this one. 
but I, I wouldn't mind having the uh, the fortune teller girl. That looked cool. And uh, well, I like that mall. I mean, if we're going to do wishing, right? Let's wish we had them all. Okay. So until next time, thank you for watching the Doctor Dow's show. <laughs>